Yo, now the more we mature with age, the more that our style should follow suit. So with that being said, I want to show you the top men's web pieces that you should be buying right now in order to elevate your style. So with that being said, y'all know how we do it. Let's get right to it. Roll my camera, please. Yeah. What's good, Camp Crew? It's your homeboy, Camp Porter Banks, and welcome back to the channel. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and let me know you're rocking with the team. You did. All right, now, today we're talking about the top men's web pieces that you should be buying right now. So I feel at this age, when you start to increase in age, you're supposed to increase your style as well. You shouldn't be styling the same way that everybody else is, and you shouldn't be styling the same way that you've been styling three, four years ago. You know your style and certain times after a while you need to change it and increase the style. You need to add extra accessories, style different pieces, and you need to see what goes with what and how you can stand out just a little bit more and still be fashionable in your own way. So what I wanted to do is show you men's web pieces that you can use and buy now that can help you elevate your style. So with that being said, only want to waste y'all time no more. Let's just hop right into it. Let's just get started with number one. All right, now first up is a plaid overshirt. Now at this point in time, when it's the fall and winter season, plaid is a very popular thing, but to have an overshirt is more so popular at this time because it's more thicker. So instead of buying something that's more so a plaid, a thin plaid t-shirt and just using that as a basic piece, you can use an overshirt that's more so used as a layer and then you can actually be more warm and you can be more stylish because you have layers of pieces that you're wearing. So like I said, having a plaid overshirt will be something that's popular. It'll be trendy and at the same time, it'll be perfect for you to wear for this fall and winter season. Now, just as a heads up, these pieces can range from different variety of prices depending on where you buy from. So what I'm going to do is everything that I list today, you can look in the description. I will have three of everything that's listed below. So you will see that I have something that's more on the pricier side, something that's more on the affordable side, and then something that's right there in the middle spot. So you will have something that has something with a little bit of price, but at the same time, something that's really good on quality. All right. Now, next up is your suede jacket. Now, I feel that suede is more so of a mature piece to wear because it's a different type of fabric that not a lot of people wear. You can wear this at any age, but it's going to give you a more mature look. Having a suede jacket really stands out. It's more so considered a casual statement, or if you want to dress it up just a little bit, you can wear this as a dress up, dress down piece. It's not too many people that like to style up brown, especially when it comes to like streetwear style and things like that. But if you are a person that want to elevate your style, you want to switch it up a little bit, having a suede jacket will be perfect for you. All right, now next up is having a bowling shirt. Now this is more of something that's more so on the trendy side of things. As of right now, it's becoming really popular for people to buy bowling shirts. And I'm not talking about going to a bowling alley and getting a bowling shirt. What I mean is you can see these type of shirts in places like Zara, Celine, BBC, and you'll see that they have the style of a bowling shirt because it's more so on a trendier side. Now these can be pricey a little bit, but depending on what store that you go to, it won't be too pricey. But but if you're looking at small, quick spots like H&M or The Gap or anything like that, you won't find that in stores like that. These will be found in more trendier, fashion-forward places. So getting a piece like this will be absolutely fire. It stands out. It shows that you are different, and it shows that you are unique with your style. Now, it doesn't matter if you was to get the bowling ball down the lane or if you was to bowl a 300. It don't matter. If you actually got style and you know how to put these pieces together, having a bowling shirt will be perfect for you this fall and winter season. Now, I'm one to wear sneakers all the time. I wear them just about every day, but having some loafers will be very valuable for your closet if you was to wear like something that's more so casual. Having some loafers will be perfect for you because it shows how fashion forward you are. And it's more so considered to be on a dressier side, but at the same time, you don't always have to be too dressy to style up some tassel loafers. You can actually just show that you're standing out and that could be your statement piece. Get some loafers, it'll update your style, it'll update your closet, and you'll be on point anytime that you're trying to dress up or dress down. All right, now next up is loose fitting pants. We are now out of that style where everybody is wearing like the tightest of jeans, skinny jeans, straight leg and all that stuff. Like nobody is really wearing those tight jeans. I mean, you can still wear them if you want to. That's cool. But having something that's more on the relaxed side will help your style a little bit more. All right, now next up is having your classic fleece sweatpants. Now, I told you a while ago in a, in a couple videos ago that having those jogger sweatpants was just a huge no. 
but to have your classic fleece straight leg sweatpants, these will be perfect for you. The ruffle that's on the ankle and the ruffle that's on the waistline is perfect. It shows that vintage type of style that you have. It also shows that it's a little bit more fitting on you instead of just being super tight, like I said. This will just give you more comfort. You'll feel comfortable walking. You'll be fashion forward. And at the same time, you'll still be stylish wherever you go. So if you're just trying to do something that's chill and laid back, whether it's going to the grocery store, kicking it with friends, or just having your regular day-to-day, -day, you can still be fashion forward just by wearing some regular classic fleece sweatpants. Next up is having a pea coat. Now at this point, a lot of people are wearing two things. It's either a puffer coat or a long coat. And I feel like everybody and their daddy got them a long coat and everybody and their friends got them a puffer coat, but they don't have anything that's like right there in the middle in between when they're dressing either up, dressing down, or if they just have something that's regular on for the day. A pea coat is right there in the middle. So you can either dress it up, dress it down, or you can actually have something that's more so relaxed and casual, and you can still step outside and still be more so casual. It's right there on point. It more so fits like a jacket, but at the same time, it still is a stylish piece for you to wear. So having a pea coat will be great for your closet. It'll show that you are more mature with your style. And at the same time, it just gives you a wide range of style when it comes to wearing jackets and coats. Now, next up is your graphic. Tees. If you are a streetwear person and you just only know t-shirts and jeans, this is where you could elevate your style right now. Having a graphic tee could be something that's more so fun, but at the same time, you could still style it with trousers, corduroy pants, chinos, and you will still be fitting with the style that you're trying to get on with and you can match this graphic t-shirt up in a number of different ways. Just make sure you found out more ways than just wearing them with some plain jeans. There's more ways to style up a classical graphic t-shirt, especially when you have like one of your favorite celebrities. Well, you can still be stylish just by wearing a simple graphic tee that costs about mm, $20, $30. You'll be fired. All right, now next up is beanies. Now, I don't wanna hear a lot of people saying, oh my God, I got too much hair, I can't wear a beanie or anything like that because there's a wide variety of beanies that you can wear. From your biggest of beanies to your smallest of beanies to your fisherman beanie to the ones that everybody is rolling up right now, there's a number of beanies that you can wear and it only costs you probably like $20 and up depending on what brand you buy from. Now you can actually be stylish at this point in time right now because it's the time where you need to bundle up anyway. So you could get you a small accessory, add some layers to your style and be right on point. Get you a beanie. That's all you need. Get a beanie. All right, y'all. I just listed out a number of things that you need to have in your wardrobe as of right now, especially when you are trying to upgrade your wardrobe and you want to be more presentable and stylish with your menswear style. Now again, I will have things listed down below in the description area for you to choose from the most affordable, from the most expensive, and something that's right there in between. Now I hope that helped you all out. If you all are looking for more content like this, drop that comment down below. If you like this video, if you enjoyed it, if you have any more ideas, drop those comments down below. Let me know what's up. So with that being said, I'm about to get up out of here, man. I'm gonna catch up with y'all on the next video. Y'all already know how I go, man. I'm your homeboy, Cam Quarterbanks. I'm about to get up out of here. I'm out, I'm gone. I'll holler at y'all, man. Peace.